Hi there, today we're going to talk about the Hulk Dogs of War omnibus from Marvel. The Hulk Dogs of War omnibus from Marvel is an 832-page book that collects the Dogs of War storyline, um, amongst others, from the Incredible Hulk series. Uh, this is a book that I bought because I want to be a bit of a completist with the Incredible Hulk omnibuses. Um, I couldn't remember any of the storylines from when they first came out, uh, but now I'm reading the Incredible Hulk stories in omnibus format. I find they are much better that way because you at least get a story art, whereas I think if you read Hulk stories on their own in single issues, they can be a little bit... You, I can see how people lose... <laughs> lose patience with them let's say other than the uh, current um, immortal hulk run that's just about to finish um hulk stories from this era i can see where you can probably give up after a bit let's have a look at the book talk a bit more about the stories the art and all that uh, and then we'll come back and just do our little summing up okay so we've got the omnibus here you've got a nice john romita jr picture of hulk fighting the abomination on the front then on the back we've got Grey Hulk there, Joe fix it. Just take this off. You don't get much on the inside, just some blurb. And then you got this big spread picture of from John Romita Jr. that's in the book of him and Thunderbolt Ross. Okay, I'll bookmark out of there. So you've got green liner pages. Nice sort of mangled mutated picture of him, Joe fix it and banner. And then you've got just a little introduction there with the credits. And we get into the story. This story mainly follows Bruce Banner as he's diagnosed with ALS, a degenerative condition. So effectively all the strength he's got as the Hulk is ironically um, not present in his real life because he's dying. His Hulk transformations seem to be speeding this up, but also transforming into the Hulk is the easiest way for him to maintain a way of life. He goes to seek help from Doc Sampson and a female colleague who he used to work with. Doc Sampson pretty quickly shacks up with this um, with this colleague. There she is. And they, they find out that the Professor Green personality isn't actually Bruce in the Hulk's body. It was just a manipulation by Doc Sampson to sort of keep everyone happy and keep the peace. Because he said, well, why do you lie to me? That's unethical. He goes, well, is that what you start? You just smashed the crap out of everything. Um, if you thought otherwise, you can kind of understand. You get some Joe Fix-It in this story. Um, you also get uh, the introduction of the Devil Hulk. Uh, you don't necessarily get a Devil Hulk coming out into the real world, but you see in his psyche the beginnings of that uh, that element of his personality, uh, which I guess is where um, they got the inspiration for the Devil Hulk from in the current Immortal Hulk run. Um, although the irony is not lost on me that now in the Immortal Hulk run, Banner simply cannot die. The Hulk will always bring him back even if he does drop dead whereas in this obviously his main worry is that he um he is going to die you get a fight with um some souped up hulk five dogs that you can see um ang lee took for the hulk film that he did uh, you don't see much of that fight to be honest in this book it's pretty pretty short-lived but it's quite obvious that he's named that um, you also get um, well, where are we? Where are we? you also get um, Joe Fixit going off trying to try and intimidate some people get some money gets mixed up with gangsters uh, you, this is quite a fun diversion in the middle of the middle of the book to be honest because you see Joe fix it you know threatening people being an enforcer wanting his money and he has a fight with a Got a big goon that uh, grew up next to a <laughs> radioactive waste plant, power plant, uh, and he's not quite a Hulk, but he can he can go toe to toe with Joe Fixit. Um, that's that's like an enjoyable bit. That's what I want with the Hulk stuff. I want monster fights. 
you've got um, a bit of background there with the abomination. Uh, he's teaching creative writing <laughs> at college, um, which I, you know, I don't know a lot about the abomination character, but that did take me by surprise. And obviously, there's the uh, there's the hardcover spread there. And, and I won't spoil the end of it, but there's some resolution to his condition. I feel it gets wrapped up quite quickly. The leader pops up for a very short moment towards the end of the book. Um, I wish there'd been more traditional leader in that, but there isn't. I mean, it's an okay book. It comes in at an okay price for its size. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's got great binding. It, as you can see, it reads nice and flat. That's the leader there. Um, <laughs> it's just there are better stories, I suppose. There are better stories. It's just a shame that they haven't been collected in omnibus format. That's all. So turn into the back. Let's see what we get. You get some sketches. Don't get a lot really for for an off Marvel omnibus, uh, and just an afterword. Um, Okay, so that was the book. Uh, as I say, some good artwork, some bad artwork. The story wraps up around the right length, I think. Um, it covers the topic of Bruce Banner's um, mortality, which obviously, based on recent things, and as I said before, um, you know, is somewhat ironic, seeing as he is immortal and cannot die. But uh, And it's something that, if you can find it for the right price, I would say £50 or less, it's worth putting in your collection if you want to be a completist for the Hulk. I mean, I can't get hold of the Peter David omnibuses, um, so if I can collect everything else and then find them maybe as a job lot or on reprints, when, if they do reprint them, then that will be, um, that'll be the way I'll go for that. But otherwise, I'd say, get this to your completist. It's when you can skip over for another book if you've got to choose and you've got the finances and you think, well, I can only afford one. I'll give this one a miss and get another one. Maybe pick this up cheaper, secondhand somewhere. Um, let me know what you think about it. Please feel free to like and subscribe and check out the website and the Instagram for updates. And thanks for watching.